Hi students, welcome to today's live IELTS class. My name is Adrian. I'm streaming to you from beautiful Budapest here in Hungary. I hope all of you are having a great week. Hi Natalie, good to see our members in the class. Hi Pea, hi Iman, good to see our regular students as well. Uh, students in this class, we are looking at an IELTS task one writing. Task two was the previous class and this lesson is presented to you by aehelp.com for academic IELTS success. Check us out there for lots of examples with uh, diagrams, bar graphs, other types of charts and HD videos. Uh, if you're looking for general IELTS, check us out at gieltshelp.com. That's generaliltshelp.com. On both of those websites, we have lots and lots of materials, interactive courses, uh, quizzes, full practice exams, of course, as well. So definitely visit us there. Uh, our General IELTS website looks like this with the green background. You can click that big red button to join. And our academic one looks like this with the blue background. Click that big red button to join us there. All right. If you have questions, just send me an email to adrian at aehelp.com. I will gladly answer any inquiries that you may have. You can also download our apps, Academic IELTS Help, from your Google Play, Apple App Store. You can link the app to your web account, uh, aehelp.com. And for General IELTS, it's General IELTS Help app. You can link it to your gieltshelp.com account as well. Hi, Jainil. Hi, Pavan. Nice to see more of our members. Live streams are usually at this time for members uh, an hour and a half earlier. Today we're looking at task one with everybody. Uh, tomorrow we will do a reading uh, session with everyone with a brand new passage. Make sure to join us for that. Uh, let's get into today's writing task. This is, I believe, from a previous exam that was a while back. Uh, here we go with the IELTS task one writing question. So. You finish the listening, you finish the reading, you're feeling good. You open up the writing section of your exam. You're about two hours in and uh, you see this question. IELTS task one writing. You should spend about 20 minutes on this task. You'll see that here. You should spend about 20 minutes on the task. The following charts show the use of water in three regions for three different applications. Report the main features and make comparisons where relevant, write at least 150 words. That means minimum 150 words. Band seven, eight, nine essays for task one will be closer to 200 words. Uh, keep that in mind. It's a minimum 150 words. There's no maximum, but of course you will run out of space and time on your paper. So uh, that's the limitation. Okay, uh, let's uh, take a look at what we need to do. What is our first step? So uh, students, what do you do? You have this task one diagram, these pie charts. Uh, what's your very first step? Okay, so there's the pie charts. We've got three of them. What do we do? You've read the question carefully, making sure that you understand it. Beck John says paraphrase the question. Yeah, you start your overview and it's a little bit more than just paraphrasing the question. So you write an overview. Okay, and the overview includes the introduction. Okay, Shiro Jidin, we've read the title, we've read the question. So what do we do? Natalie says you paraphrase the task. As some says you look at the diagrams. Yeah, it's a good idea to look at the diagram before you do anything. So let's do that. Absolutely. So here we have these beautiful pie charts. You have San Diego County, you have California, and then you have worldwide, okay? And this is water usage, as it tells you here, okay? So the use of water in three regions, right? So water usage in these three places for three different applications. We have residential, okay, means using water at home. Uh, industry, which means using water for manufacturing of products. And then you have agriculture as the uh, teal color here. Uh, agriculture, of course, is farming. 
Okay, so those are the three different reasons. And then we have the slices and the percents here. Okay, so we've looked at the diagram, the pie charts in this case. And then we write the overview. The overview, which is also the introduction, okay, that's not a separate part. I'm still amazed how many people write a one sentence introduction for task one, which is completely unnecessary to separate that. Um, so the overview has two parts, okay? Keep it simple. Your goal is to get a high band score. You want to write as simple, as clear as possible while having a good essay, okay? So uh, let's see. Uh, Shodieva says paraphrase using three methods to do this. Um, Shodieva, there's more than three methods to paraphrase. There's at least five that I can think of, but <clears throat> you are in the right track. Okay, all right. So there's two parts to that, to the overview. The first part is paraphrase the question with details from the graph. Okay, that's your first part. Uh, many students forget to add those details. Okay, you want to add details. You don't just simply paraphrase. If you just paraphrase the question, that doesn't really do as much as possible. So you want to do more. And then two is a report the main feature, the most obvious observable part of the graph or the chart. Okay, so that's what you need to do. All right, um, so here we have our question again. The following charts show the use of water in three regions for three different applications. Report the main features. So paraphrase this for me uh, with more details. I'm going to do the same. And I see that we already have uh, some paraphrases with details coming up. Let's see what you have. Uh, Samuel says, the given three pie charts depict the percentage of water used for industrial, agricultural, as well as domestic purposes in San Diego, California, and everywhere around the world. Very nice, Samuel. That is a perfect start to this essay. That's a band nine start to the essay. Nicely done, Samuel. Nigeman says three given pie charts depict the consumption of water in three specific areas and for three domains, including residential, industrial, and agriculture. Good, um, that's good as well. You can include the three regions, right? So uh, nicely done so far. Lydia says the three pie charts depict the consumption of water in three specific areas, San Diego, California, and globally, uh, utilized for three particular purposes instead of operations, Lydia, okay? And you might as well name those as well. So everybody looks like you're on the right track, okay? So uh, these three pie charts depict the use of water as percentages in three areas, uh, San Diego County, California, or we can say the state of California, and globally for the purpose of home use, industry, and farming. All right. So that's my paraphrase there with more details. And notice, of course, uh, I'm uh, paraphrasing as much of that information as possible so <clears throat> the uh, <clears throat> examiner can see that I'm not just simply copying the text, um, but I'm interpreting the information as well. So instead of saying agriculture, I used farming instead of uh, domestic, I said home use with this little hyphen here to connect that into one element. And then, of course, recognizing that it's the state of California, okay, and San Diego County. Here I'm just being much more specific. So instead of saying the charts, I'm saying these three pie charts. So the examiner realizes that, okay, here's a student who knows what they're looking at, okay? So, so far, so good. That is the beginning of our overview, and you do not need to separate this 
uh, from the introduction. The overview is the introduction, one more time, just so that's absolutely clear. Okay, um, so I've done that. Now, remember, the second part of the overview is the most observable feature, okay? So what is the most observable feature here, students? And I'll definitely try to catch some different comments and different uh, writing. Um, what is the most observable? So what do we notice right away? This is where you have to be clever and you have to think outside the box, or in this case, hint, hint, outside the pie chart. Okay, so what do we notice right away? Okay, what do we notice first when we look at this? What's, what do we, what's the most observable notion uh, in this entire um, presentation here? Okay. Hi, Eugene. I'm doing fantastic. Thank you for cheering me up with those emojis. Uh, Samuel says, at first glance, it is clear that water is used the most for agriculture around the world, except for the former two regions where it is used by residents. I don't think that's the most observable feature, Samuel, although we do have this big teal slice here and these different slices here. Um, I don't think that's the most observable feature. Okay. Amit says, overall, it's quite evident from the chart that certain changes are inevitable with the progression of time. I don't think, Amit, that's what we're looking at here. Okay. Uh, Kali, that's a good start. Mm, okay. Um, try to think uh, about this in different ways. So what are we actually looking at? I'll move out of the way so you can see it, but what are we actually looking at here? Um, Beck John says, at first glance, it's evident that each region uses water differently from the other. Okay, so Beck John's uh, doing a little bit of a better job. So Beck John says, hey, we look at each region, we can see that there's quite a bit of variance for the purpose of water consumption. That's okay. All right. Um, okay, uh, what are we comparing here? Okay, I think. Um, we can step back here. Um, take a look at that. What do you notice? So what's very observable here? If I'm looking at this as a human geographer, for example, so somebody dealing with human geography or uh, industrial engineering, for example, I'll probably um, notice about that a little bit more. So what are we actually comparing with these three pie charts before we get into water usage? Uh, again, for your audience, it won't make much sense if you just start going right into these slices and percentages. Okay. So Ali says, overall, it's obvious that the use of water by residents was the highest in San Diego um, globally. Mm, yeah, very good. So Abhishek... Das has the best response, yeah, so far. And there's Abhishek, a different Abhishek, saying it's, well, it's city, state, worldwide. Yeah, so we're going from a smaller region to a bigger region to an even bigger region, right? In fact, um, you don't need to know this, but of course it could be helpful. Uh, San Diego County is in California. So San Diego is a part of California, and of course California is a part of the world. So um, this pie chart is actually a part of this pie chart, and this pie chart is actually a part of this pie chart, okay? So uh, whoever is able to recognize that comparison uh, and start with that in the overview, you're going to be doing a lot better, and you're going to be on track for a better band score, okay? So the most obvious feature here is the comparison of water use is among smaller to larger regions, okay? So that would be the most clever way to identify. Now, if you don't know that San Diego is in California, that's okay, but you should still hopefully realize that San Diego is a city. Now, San Diego County is the larger area of San Diego, but California is a state, okay? So uh, hopefully you realize that. And yes, IELTS does demand some 
knowledge of geography and certain concepts like that, okay? Uh, that's why I think they chose these names because I think most people are familiar with the state of California. Of course, a lot of movies and everything comes from there. Okay, so let's do um, an overview that highlights this comparison, okay? So at first glance, it is clear that the comparison is made from a smaller to larger region and eventually the entire world. Okay, so that's what we're looking at here. Okay, let's see if somebody uh, has put something similar up there. Okay, so Prashant says the pie chart diagrams elaborate on the percentages of water consumption uh, between city, state, and the rest of the world. Okay, Prashant, it's not two cities. California is a state. Uh, Makta says at first glance it is evident that smaller to larger regions uh, from San Diego to California and worldwide are presented. Okay, Mahta, you have the right idea, just a little bit tricky with the grammar. Lydia says San Diego has the largest capacity of population, consequently the industrial... Lydia, San Diego is a city, okay? The county of San Diego is mostly a city, all right? All right. Uh, Mohammed Azad says the usage of residential is more. Uh, that's coming later, Mohammed. Okay, so this is your uh, overview here. So these three pie charts depict the use of water as present uh, percentages in three areas, San Diego County, the state of California, and globally for the purpose of home use, industry, and farming. At first glance, it is clear that the comparison is made from a smaller to larger region and eventually the entire world. Okay, that would be your band nine start. All right, and now uh, we get into the analysis. Okay, so when we do the analysis here, now we realize that it makes sense to analyze this pie chart first, emphasize this large use of residential application, okay? and then the smaller equatable uh, farming and uh, industry. And then as we go to the state of California, right, then we get into our second group of comparisons. I should probably say A here, makes a little bit more sense. And then we'll go B here, and we'll go three, and then four, okay? Something like that. These are fairly even. Uh, of course, residential is still more. And then we go to C, which is worldwide, and we get into 5, 6, and 7. Okay? So that would be your logical order of comparison. It's really important to have this knowledge here. Okay? All right. Okay, so uh, let's do this. Let's um, first describe what we see in A here in San Diego County. So residential use makes up 60% and the remaining 40% is split between industry and agriculture. Okay, so let's write that first. Go ahead, write that uh, first sentence. So uh, let's see how you introduce your analysis. This is your body paragraph. Okay, so your body paragraph is made up of these points. Make sure to clearly identify your points of comparison before uh, you start to write. Okay. Uh, Maina Kuhn is asking, can we compare groups of residential, industrial, and agriculture instead of states? Uh, you can. Uh, just make sure that makes sense. We're going to do that anyway. Okay. Hassam says, despite the large amount of water usage for home purposes in the city, where did that go? It looked like a good start. 
Let's see if I can catch it. Okay, seems to have disappeared. It's okay. All right, Beck John says at first glance it becomes clear that the comparison is between city, state, and eventually worldwide. Yeah, that works, Beck John. Okay, uh, smaller to larger settlements is a good way to say it as well. So at first glance, it's clear that the comparison is made from smaller to larger settlement. Okay. All right. Uh, there's Hassam. So despite the large amount of water usage for home purposes in the city of San Diego, the whole amount is profound, profoundly tiny uh, when compared to water consumption in the world. Um, yeah, Hassam, I think it's okay. It's a little bit unclear but as long as you clarify that in your next sentence is what you mean by that. Uh, Nagay says, with deeper analysis, it is obvious that San Diego residents made up two-fifths of the water consumption uh, in the county. Yeah, Nick Hain, that's a good start. So I would start like this. So um, so this is the analysis or analyses for plural. So when looking at the consumption of water, in the urban uh, area of San Diego County. Clearly, the majority is used for residential purposes. three-fifths to be exact. Okay, so again, um, your goal is to interpret the data. To get those really high band scores, band seven, eight, or nine, you need to interpret the data. So notice how here, 60% of the pi is for residential use. Now, 60%, I don't want to just repeat 60%, but I can paraphrase that as well. So 60 is three-fifths, right? So if this is 10, then this is 6 of 10, I can divide both of those by 2, so it's three-fifths, okay? Three-fifths of the whole, all right? And then this is of course a four of 10, so I can again divide each of those by two and it's two fifths, okay? So, I can finish that by saying The remaining two fifths of water used in the county is split between industry and farming, with industry slightly more. Okay, that's all I need to do. All right, so here we have farming or agriculture and we have industry and this remaining uh, slice here, it's e fairly evenly split with slightly more being used by industry, 6%, okay? All right, let's see what some of you wrote so far. So while I'm talking, um, absolutely I challenge you to write in your own way, okay? There's more than one way to uh, skin the cat, as they say. There are many, many ways to paraphrase or interpret the information. I'm showing you one way that can get you that high band score, but of course I challenge you to write in your own words and uh, I will gladly look at that in the chat. Okay. All right. Uh, Abhishek says, looking uh, at this in more detail, San Diego County 
has the biggest slice of domestic water usage at 60%, while 17 and 23% are for farming and industry re respectively. Yeah, that's okay, Abhishek. I mean, um, in some sense, you're really just describing the data instead of interpreting it. And again, remember, students, that describing the data is okay. You can get band 6, 7, maybe even 7, 5 with descriptive data, but to get into the band 8, 8.59, you need to have interpretation, okay? Interpretation is one step further from description. It's looking more deeply at the information, okay? So take that extra step, all right? Okay. Nilesh says, the analysis of water consumption differs in percentage, residential having the highest rate at 60%. Okay. Uh, again, that's okay, Nilesh. Um, still, you're more just into description. A little bit of interpretation with highest rate, but again, that's quite clear. Okay. All right. So again, students, you don't want to have a task one essay that's simply full of numbers and percentages. All right. The higher band score essays don't have that. It's okay if you use a couple numbers, but you don't want to have 150 words or 200 words where 30 or 40 words are just numbers with percent signs. Okay, so that's quite important. All right. Okay, so now um, we can go to the second pie chart, which I labeled for analysis B, and then take a look at how that changes. So now we're looking at it, the larger area that San Diego is a part of, which is the state of California. And of course here, we realize that residential is still quite high, but it's much more balanced with, um, uh, with uh, industry and agriculture. Okay, so we want to report that. And while we're reporting that, we want to make the comparison with San Diego. So we want to express this comparison here from San Diego uh, to the larger area. So try that one. Okay. Try that. Okay, so I'm going to do the same. I'll write that sentence, and then let's see how you come up with it, okay? Okay, so that's my next sentence here. Let's see what you come up with. Okay. So Sana says, the amount of water which is used in residential area of San Diego is three-fifths of all, and the two other categories, namely industry and agriculture, are 23 and 11% respectively. Okay, Sanaz, that's nice. So you're reflecting that previous sentence. Amit Eldho says, as a state, California accommodates more preference to residents and less for industry and farming when looking behind the pie chart of the earlier as it's depicted the same. Okay, Amit, I think you're on the right track there. I like how you're interpreting the data rather than simply just naming the percentages. So you're on the right track. That's what you want to do. Okay, 
Uh, Vishal R. says, however, as a whole, the state of California, the residential sector remains the highest, but the proportion of water used in agriculture and industry has increased significantly. Not just slightly, Vishal, quite a bit, in fact. Okay, uh, Vishal, you're definitely on the right track again, so you're showing interpretation, which is great. You're going to get a better band score with that. Okay. All right, let's see some other ones. So, uh, Maho Sano says, unlike the water used in San Diego, the three purposes of water usage in California state are almost balanced out with the residential purpose sl slightly outweighing the other two. Very nice, Maho. That's a nice uh, description and interpretation there. Much, much better. Okay, so this is what I wrote here. Uh, when looking at the larger area, the state of California, which San Diego County is a part of, if you know that, if you don't, it's fine. The proportion of water used for industry, domestic, and agriculture becomes much more balanced, whereby each is approximately a third of the whole. Okay. Now, if I want to go into uh, a little bit more explanation, I can. I just need to make sure I have time to do this. If I don't, I would just go on to uh, water used worldwide. Okay, uh, but I can go in uh, and explain this if I feel, okay, I'm writing fast. I've only taken about 10 minutes to get to this point. Um, I can go into explaining that residential is still slightly more than industry, which is a few percent greater than uh, agriculture or farming. Okay, so... Home consumption. Of water in California is still slightly more than industry, which is a few um, percent more than agriculture. Okay, and that's why it's important to include the word approximately. All right, so that's interpretation. All right. We're rocking and rolling. I think um, that everybody is getting the right idea now. So uh, let me give you a head start on worldwide, okay? So I've done it for San Diego and California. Obviously, California is on planet Earth, so that needs no explanation. Um, so make the comparison of California to worldwide and uh, report what's going on here. Okay, so I'll take a look at some of the other responses in the meantime, but right now your goal is to uh, report how the usage of water for these three purposes changes when we're looking at the entire planet of human population. Okay, all right, Lydia says in California we can observe that there is not a great difference in the three sectors. Nevertheless, the usage of water is still slightly higher for residential. Okay, good. All right, Lydia, that's good. Then it decreases slightly uh, with industry at about 33%, and agriculture has the least at 28%. Yeah, and we want to be really careful, Lydia, with these highest and least because the differences are so small that we don't want to emphasize that slight difference okay all right Hassan Sadiq says um, turning to worldwide uh, usage of water agriculture makes up 69 percent of the total and both industry and domestic combined make up just 31 percent okay very good Hassan now continue that with another sentence to compare it to the state and the county level usage of water so I'd like to see your next sentence there, Hassan, which makes the comparison of the global to the state and the county. Okay. Samuel says, zooming out. <laughs> nice. I like that, Samuel. So zooming out. Yeah, like we're using Google Earth. Uh, zooming out uh, from the state of California, the water is used similarly by residents and industries as well as agriculture. 
um, with order following that of its own county of San Diego. Okay, good, Samuel. So that was your uh, second pie chart, or B. Okay, Amit Eldo says, considering the worldwide interpretation, uh, we can see that agriculture uh, is the largest percent than industry, and only 8% is residential. Okay, good, Amit. That's a good start. Continue by comparing that to the other two. Okay. Even if it's just one simple sentence, I mean, this is quite a contrast to the county of San Diego or even the state of California, right? Okay. Abhishek Das says, um, on the planet, as human populations increase day by day, so definitely do we need to have a large amount of food. So agriculture shares a huge number of water consumption. Abhishek Das, we don't know that. Okay, um, you're bringing your own knowledge into that sentence. You must not do that, students, in task one. Do not bring your own knowledge and your own opinion into the um, response. It's very important that you don't confuse interpretation with opinion. Okay, so I'm just going to take a moment here to kind of... Uh, summarize what I mean by how to get high band scores. Okay, so in order to get high band scores on academic task one, what's called an expository essay, uh, you must interpret the data and not just simply report it. Also, you must not give your own opinion or knowledge. Okay? Interpretation is not opinion. Okay? Opinion is for task two. That's your persuasive essay. That's your task two essay. In your writing section, that's where you're asked for your opinion, but not in task one. In task one, very clearly, uh, the question always says, report the main features and make comparisons where relevant. This here, when you read the report the main features and make comparisons where relevant, another way you could think about this, but they don't write this because it could be a little bit confusing for some students, is uh, use the given data to interpret and summarize the information, okay? Uh, that would be a little bit more confusing, so they choose to word it in this way, okay? But really what they're saying is use the given data to interpret and summarize the information, okay? It does not say give your own opinion, all right? So careful with that. Okay, um, so while uh, some of you are still writing, I'm going to write up um, the end here for me on the global scale. The consumption of water is a significant contrast to the county of San Diego and California worldwide nearly 70% of all water is used for farming, as where only 8% is domestic. The remainder is industry. Okay? So that's it. All right? So that's it. That's all that analysis is.
Okay, so once more, let's take a look at um, the charts here. So we have three pie charts. We have a smaller region, a much larger region. California is quite a big state. Uh, in fact, it's much larger than many, many countries. Okay. And then we have an even larger scale, which is worldwide. So those of you looking at this with a critical eye should recognize that we're making comparisons at three different scales here for water use. Okay. And then when we do that, we realize that there's quite a bit of variance when looking at the urban scale. Of course, a lot of it's residential. When we're looking at the global scale, a lot of it is for agriculture. So with good analysis and interpretation, your essay uh, reads like this with the overview. So I'm going to read the overview, the analysis, and then we're going to add one more part that many people don't really understand whether it's needed, not needed, why it's needed. So I'm going to show you that. So don't go anywhere. Okay, here we go. So overview, these three pie charts depict the use of water as percentages in three areas, San Diego County, the state of California, and globally for the purpose of home use, industry, and farming. At first glance, it is clear that the comparison is made from a smaller to larger region and eventually the entire world. When looking at the consumption of water in the urban area of San Diego County, clearly the majority is used for residential purposes, three-fifths to be exact. The remaining two-fifths of water used in the county is split between industry and farming with industry slightly more. When looking at the larger area, the state of California, which San Diego County is a part of, the proportion of water used for industry, domestic, and agriculture becomes much more balanced, whereby each is approximately a third of the whole. Home consumption of water in California is still slightly more than industry, which is a few percent more than agriculture. On the global scale, the consumption of water is a significant contrast to the county of San Diego and California. Worldwide, nearly 70% of all water is used for farming, as where only 8% is domestic. The remainder is industry. Okay, and now we summarize. Okay, so you should write a summary. A summary is um, a, an interesting piece of information that we can understand from the graphs, which is not a repetition of the overview or analysis. Now, think simple, okay? So don't overcomplicate this part. I think some students, when they realize, oh yeah, a summary is good to include, uh, think simple. This is usually just one sentence, okay? Um, so to sum up, I'll show you how simple this is. To sum up, the use of water um, around the world varies extensively depending on the scale of observation, scale and location. Okay, so that's what I can summarize from this. All right, that's the most simple summary is when I look at this, what I really learn is that if somebody asks what is the use or the proportional use of residential, industrial, and agricultural um, water, then I would say, well, it depends on the scale and where you're looking at. That's, where, that's what we're able to interpret after deeper analysis of all of this information that's presented to us. Okay. So you don't have to go further than that. There's many, there are many different ways to state that. Um, you can say that in a simpler way. You can say it in two sentences. But simply that's it. To sum up, the use of water around the world varies extensively depending on the scale and location of observation or analysis. Okay. 
or statistics. Again, lots of different ways uh, to do it. All right. Okay, um, lots of good writing, uh, students. Um, it's not short, so Maina Kuhn says, I think it's kind of short. Uh, I'll tell you exactly how many words this is, Maina Kuhn. Uh, it's definitely over the 150 word limit. Um, I'm going to try to uh, take out any, or I'll try to estimate the extra words that I have here, but I'll tell you how many words this is. Okay. So this is 246 words. Now I have a little bit of extra here, right? So the word analysis obviously will minus one. Um, and then all of this instruction here, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, roughly 20 words there. So this essay as is, is approximately 210 words. Okay. Now again, remember students, 150 is the minimum. So your band seven, eight, nine, especially essays will be much closer to that 200. Okay. Uh, Hassam's asking, I don't think we can say in conclusion. Yeah, that's right, Hassam. You cannot say in conclusion. This is not a conclusion, okay? Uh, students, you have to learn that a summary and a conclusion are not the same. They're similar, but there are very important differences, especially at the university or college level, okay? A conclusion draws an opinion based on the presented argument or ideas. That's a conclusion. A summary uh, condenses and highlights, or we can also say uh, interprets, the presented facts in the longer information. Okay, so summary and conclusion are not the same idea. Uh, a conclusion is for task two, a summary is for task one. Okay, you should not confuse these. Okay. And this is, of course, very important for you academic students, okay? Uh, Hisham, you can find speaking partners on our website. There's a student partner speaking function on the websites where people are always waiting to connect, okay? All right, Lydia says, therefore, sir, we must not include facts in bar charts. As you said, I'm not sure what you mean by that, Lydia. If you mean uh, opinions, then definitely not. Uh, Nima, you cannot get a 10 in IELTS because the maximum score is a band 9, okay? All right. Um, okay, everyone, so that is the essay. I will post this essay with the question and the graph on our YouTube channel, on our community uh, posts, okay? So check that out. And uh, if you like this lesson and you want to see some HD videos without interruption um, in high quality, uh, there's over 100 hours of video lessons at aehelp.com in our premium package. And, of course, we have uh, lessons for task one letter writing for general outs at galtshelp.com. That's it for today. Tomorrow, I'll be back with an original reading passage for everyone. And, of course, members will finish that task two essay that we started earlier today. I hope everybody had a fun class, as much fun as IELTS can be, and I wish you all a great rest of your day. If it's late in your country, sweet dreams. Take care of your health, stay strong, eat your vitamins. Much love to all of you from Budapest. I'm Adrian. Bye for now.